I'm Jesse, you're watching JLS Comics, and today we're talking about Bleach. Live action anime adaptations here in the Western market have traditionally struggled. I mean, we had Death Note, Dragon Ball Z, which we should never talk about, Ghost in the Shell, Full Metal Alchemist, and the list goes on. But hopefully, I think now that trend might be turning around now that we have Bleach. Bleach was originally launched in 2001 in Weekly Shonen Jump by Taito Kubo. Ended in 2016, it was published as manga. Um, this movie follows that first arc, uh, what we call here the Substitute Shinigami arc. It's the first eight volumes. Uh, Viz Media, if you're interested in reading anything here in the United States, uh, Viz Media published uh, a manga adaptation of it. So it takes the plot from that first volume, which is good because we get a really good introduction to our main protagonist, Ichigo Kurosaki. Um, it seems like the director, uh, Shinsuke Sato, uh, he was the director of Gans and a couple others that I liked quite a bit, and uh, the actors really understood uh, the characters, and this one in particular. In fact, one of the things that's done really well here is the casting choices. Uh, Soda Fukushi from Kamen Rider and Hana uh, Sugasaki, uh, you may know her from Blade of the Immortal, have really great chemistry together as Ichigo and Ruki. So the plot follows along, as I said, basically with the first arc. Uh, Kurosaki has the ability to see spirits. He meets Rukia. Uh, Rukia's job is to lead good souls into an afterlife that they call the Soul Society while defending uh, against evil spirits that are known as Hollows. As a last resort while losing a battle to a Hollow, she grants Ichigo uh, power. She means to give him part of her power, but accidentally gives him the entire uh, portion of her power. They're out there in, in the street, in the dark, and, and it just happens. Uh, so she grants him the power of a uh, full power of a Shinigami or a Soul Reaper. So he has to defend the living against the evil hollows. Uh, Rukia takes on a human form because uh, he gave her all the powers, and that's really forbidden in soul society um, culture. Rukia can't return unless he grants all of her power back to her, and he's an untrained reaper, so the hollows and all these other spirits are targeting him. So that's basically the premise for this. Uh, that said, if you haven't seen or read Bleach before, uh, you'll still find yourself enjoying this and understanding, you know, the mythology with the Soul Society, who the Reapers are, um, you know, why it's happening. They do a really good job of explaining what's happening uh, without resorting to long periods of exposition. There's the uh, the requisite uh, training montage where they have some really cool scenes with some kendo sticks um, and through that and through that device of him just coming into this world and having to learn the mythology she's explaining it to him but also to us so they do a really good job of that keeping it really concise and simple uh, so that everybody is able to understand it so you will like how this is translated uh, there are a couple things that are different uh, like Renji and Rukia are actually both adopted in, in this. Um, so it's different, but still wholly familiar. Um, one thing I did like about this, probably one of the standouts, is the fight scenes. The fight scenes are really dynamic, really uh, fast-paced, and really, really intense. Uh, one thing that I would have liked is if they'd pan back. There's a couple scenes where they are basically destroying a city block, um, and it's nice to see kind of that, you know, devastation there a little bit out. So they keep it somewhat tight. And, there is a somewhat modest budget for this as well. And that final battle is worth seeing this alone. Uh, the movie is 108 minutes long. It is fast paced um, and it does uh, keep you going all the way through. There are some points where we do get some really surprisingly deep emotional beats. You know, and again, it goes back to that chemistry between Rukia and Ichigo. Uh, really surprising and really well done. So we get some of that intermix between the fast pace and the action. It's done really well. Pacing is great. Uh, there is a rather large cast here, and because it is relatively brief of a movie, it is hard to fully develop everybody. Uh, however, the focus of this really does lie on Ichigo and Rukia, uh, which is fine. Uh, I really wanted to see more of uh, Rukia uh, fighting. She's really cool as a Soul Reaper. really want to see more of that. A couple other characters are relatively underdeveloped, but like I said, that's kind of expected with 
the length of the film being uh, somewhat abbreviated uh, and the quicker pace of the film. Rukia was a, a badass, like I said. Uh, her, she had her first fight and then one thing that I wish was that she wasn't reduced to just a human, just kind of sidekick, trainer, a guide for Ichigo. I wanted more from her. And the other thing I could say about this is that the soundtrack is somewhat distracting. I wish uh, they had some different uh, musical choices, a uh, different score choice perhaps for this. But overall, this was a really fun movie. There was uh, some humor, some really like smug kind of humor. It knows not to take itself too seriously. A couple jokes bordered a little bit on cringy, but it does keep that that lighter feel and that tone amid some of the the really um, the high stakes and the high action and, and some of the things that you'll see in it. I think we finally have a live action anime that understands the source material and what makes it work um, and is able to adapt it faithfully and still build the mythology out in a different direction for a different market. I think this is a success. It really makes me hopeful for the future of this genre. I will say that this movie also is in subtitles so you'll have to read it. It's in Japanese uh, language with English subtitles. Uh, overall, what do I give this movie? I give this movie a seven and three quarters out of 10. Really solid score. I had a lot of fun with it. Did have some issues, but overall, really good time. And I will say this is probably the best live action anime adaptation that I've seen thus far. Go ahead and uh, leave me some comments down below if you agree, completely disagree, if I'm off the mark here, if you've seen it, if you have questions, whatever it is, uh, I'd love to hear from you. And if this is your first time here and you love content like this, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That'll let you know when I upload all of the latest content for the channel. And if you like this video in particular, this review, there's always that uh, like button as well. That'll do it. This is Jesse here with a live action bleach review. And I'll see you in the next video.